welcome to Scuba Diving Magazine. We are well into the Christmas season, it appears, based on the adverts that I'm seeing on TV and the number of mince pies that I've already consumed so far. But I figured that I'd come up with a list of gifts for scuba divers, because if you have a scuba diver in your life and they haven't written a list of what they actually want for Christmas or other non-Christian celebrations, and you're struggling to know what to get the scuba diver in your life, I've had a good look around online and I've come up with some general gift ideas that should be appreciated by any scuba diver. Dry bags are so unbelievably useful as a scuba diver. As you can probably imagine, there's a higher than usual chance of scuba divers encountering water compared to the general public. But not all of our stuff reacts well when wet. For example, your mobile phone, your car keys, your dry clothes that you're intending to travel home in, they don't do so well when they're wet. So I usually have myself a small dry bag, like a five liter for my day-to-day -day pocket essentials, like my wallet, my phone, my keys, and that kind of stuff in a larger bag. And then I often have a larger dry kit bag for my wet gear at the end of the day to keep it all the wet stuff contained in the boot of my car. The more dry bags you have, the better you can organize your stuff. And a whole range of sizes just means that you can pack better as well. But I will always be happy to see a dry bag under the Christmas tree or in my stocking. As scuba divers, we love the underwater world and all things scuba. As such, we enjoy seeing the underwater world when we're at home as well. So we actually had some prints of certain shipwrecks commissioned, like the Thistlegorm and the Colm, that you can order up here and they print it to order to minimize waste. They print it off as soon as you hit that order button and then they ship it directly to you. There's not like tons of these prints just laying around in a warehouse somewhere. As they print to order, it can take a little bit of time to actually get to you, so don't leave it too late. And it's not available in every country neither, so do double check first. But it's something just a little bit different and something that they can celebrate their favorite diving wreck or place to dive. Ponchos are quite new to the diving industry, so not very many divers actually have one yet, but they're really handy for scuba divers. The way it normally goes after a dive is that you strip out of your wetsuit as quickly as possible so that the wind doesn't chill you to the bone or you spend too long exposing yourself and end up on some kind of watch list. But with a poncho, you can cover yourself first, protect yourself from the elements between dives, and you have a mobile changing room over the top of you. It's just more convenient to throw a poncho over yourself completely than a, like, a regular coat that doesn't quite cover everything and now the inside of your coat is actually wet because of your wetsuit and most of them actually have like a towel-like interior to dry yourself off a little bit so it's just a little bit nicer inside of a poncho. Now bear with me, in most circumstances, a coat hanger is a bit of a rubbish Christmas gift. But as scuba divers, a wide-shouldered coat hanger is a great gift for our wetsuits and our dry suits to wash them, to dry them, and to store them as well. Because regular coat hangers are just too thin, so they damage the neoprene, and the suits themselves can be quite heavy for regular coat hangers, so you can either damage that or your suit. We actually have specialist hangers for like our BCDs, our jackets that we wear that have little hooks on the sides for the shoulder straps so they don't slip over the sides. We have dry suit hangers that hang a dry suit completely upside down by the boots. Um, so any water inside drains downwards on outwards because dry suits, they don't open at the bottom. We have hangers with built-in fans to actually dry the inside of your suit to keep them fresh on the inside. And of course, multi-hangers with just all sorts of attachment hooks and things for like your regulators and all of your dive equipment to keep their just dive lock and neat and tidy.
Finger spools are always handy and they range from really cheap to quite really fancy. So you, you have a range of a choice. If it's just like Secret Santa, you can just get a small plastic spool. They're handy for sending up a DSMB on a safety stop. Or if you've got some money to burn, then you can upgrade their spool to a fancier metal spool or something that are much tougher and longer lasting. As a general rule, Stainless steel bolt snaps are better than the brass ones, um, so if you're stuck between the two and the colour of the line doesn't really make a difference whether it's white, yellow or glow in the dark, it doesn't really matter. The glow in the dark stuff is pretty cool, so maybe that one. But don't worry too much about the line colour if you're stuck between them. But you can never have too many finger spools and, uh, and choose to uh, either just select from your your choice of finger spools before the dive or to you know replace some lost ones the same goes for all double enders uh, bolt snaps they go missing quite easily either because you drop one because of clunky gloves or something or if you lend one to a buddy and then never see it again um, now regulars on my videos will certainly not be surprised to see bolt snaps on one of my this videos i'm a bit of a, a magpie for bolt snaps i i always carry one on me for you know emotional support um, again these come in a range of fanciness from cheap brass bolt snaps that are best avoided to be honest to really nice stainless steel ones so you can uh, you can even get matte black ones now i think they've got a ceramic coating which is kind of cool but some proper bolt snaps you know that they're, they're always appreciated This one is quite self-serving, but seeing as I work for a scuba diving magazine publisher, a subscription to our scuba diving magazine with monthly editions available in both print copy and digital versions to you know reduce paper waste and we have three regional editions we've got north america the uk edition as well as australia and new zealand the perfect gift um, they can keep up to date with the latest scuba diving news as well as articles on new dive equipment uh, dive sites interviews with industry professionals and it lasts for the entire year or you can do a two-year subscription if you really wanted to um, it's just an idea um, there's, a, there's a link popping up here A new diving t-shirt, a hoodie or a hat is always a nice gift. Something to wear, you know, around the dive site. We love to advertise that we're scuba divers in public and we can never have enough diving tees. But a lot of the diving manufacturers are branching into hoodies and like winter clothing as well, using their clever scuba materials to keep you warm and dry when you're out of the water as well as when you're in it. So yeah, there are plenty of dive clothing lines out there today to choose from, so you should should find plenty of choice out there. There are a handful of location beacons today that you can activate in an emergency when you're on the surface. Um, they're quite pricey. So unlikely to be for Secret Santa, you're probably going to want a little bit of recognition for this gift. So in the unlikely event that you're lost at sea, you can activate one of these beacons so that you show up on the GPS screen of nearby boats so they can find you easier. And if you want to get really fancy, some can actually connect to satellites to alert emergency services of your exact position and that you actually need help. So they send a helicopter and boats and all sorts of clever stuff. Uh, they don't work underwater, the signals don't work through water, but they do work perfectly fine on the surface so that people can actually find you. A perfect all-rounder of a gift, whilst not particularly exciting, they're really useful for a range of diving needs. A humble gift card from their local dive centre is a wonderful gift so that they can either put it towards a new piece of equipment or they can actually use it towards servicing their existing gear. Now, it depends on the dive centre. Not all have gift cards set up, so it's probably best to contact them first and make sure that they do. And they may have both physical gift cards that you can pop in a greetings card and some actually do digital codes as well uh, if they have like an online store and you can buy things from that so 
This link up here will actually take you to the best online dive center in your local area. And all you have to do is just search for gift cards. They usually have a, a tab at the top for gift cards and you can usually like pick your amounts. But yeah, that's, that's a great like last minute gift idea, especially the digital version. So what's the nicest scuba diving gift that you have ever received? Uh, I know I've received a good few diving tees in my years and um, what would you like to receive this year in 2022? I imagine a new Garmin or a Shearwater is going to be on a few Christmas lists this year but let me know down in the comments below. The links to the dive stores, uh, our magazine subscriptions and everything else that I've spoken about are going to be down in the description below this video. Thank you for watching everybody and of course safe diving. Thank you.